We're all looking for ways to save money. That's why it's worth spending a few moments online with PG&E's Home Energy Checkup. It tells you how much energy you're using. Then find customized energy recommendations, tips, and rebates. Think of it as getting more control over your energy use at home. And yet another energy saving opportunity from PG&E. Find new ways to save energy and money with PG&E's Home Energy Checkup. Here we are going with round one. Round one, we got Dan Terrible in the ring. We got Dan Terrible in the right corner. We got Frank. We got Frank. What kind of boxing name is this? We got Frank in the other side. Okay, here we go. We got Stan Terrible coming out of the corner. Stan Terrible's going on Frank. Frank Terrible's going with the right cross. Right cross with Stan Terrible. So come on, Stan Terrible. At least land a few punches this time, maybe. Okay. Oh! Jesus Christ. Fire! Oh! Sorry. Criminals sometimes try to escape from justice. This is the story of how one man almost got away with it. The following morning, Woods heads to the local police station to add credibility to his claim that Dawn disappeared. Acting anxious, he files a missing persons report for Dawn and Jamie. Missing since yesterday, and I haven't seen it. It was, very you know, doing what I thought that a worried boyfriend should be doing. Thank you very much. Two hours later, Woods is back at his trailer when he hears an unexpected knock. He's alarmed to find two detectives standing before him. At this point, I hadn't yet gotten rid of Don and Jamie's bodies. They were still in Jamie's bedroom. Well, Mr. Woods, have you heard any more from your fiance? Detective Sam McCormick of the Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation. He asks Woods several routine questions about Dawn's disappearance. As far as you're concerned, everything was just an average day. He said that he had worked a split shift the day before. There was no reason for us to suspect that he had anything to do with her missing. Then, to his relief, the detectives leave the trailer. I had no clue what they were thinking. On Thursday, July 1st, Woods receives an important notice in the mail for Dawn. It's a letter from her bank claiming insufficient funds. No, nothing like this before. We've never gotten anything like that. I went to the detectives and showed them and said, hey, you know, maybe this is why Dawn did what she did. You know, I tried to put the blame on her, you know, that... that Sherry's concern prompts the police to try and rule Woods out as a suspect. On July 5th, just one week after Dawn and Jamie's disappearance, Helena detectives approach Woods at his trailer. Come downtown with this and take a polygraph test. Woods okay. is free to go. Police now don't have much to go on. Missing person flyers are circulated, but with no evidence of foul play and no indication that Woods has anything to do with Dawn's disappearance, the investigation begins to lose steam. We did everything possible. Map to a rusting metal barrel near an overgrown vacant field. The murders of Dawn and her son was a shock, uh, not only to me, but I believe the entire community. Inside are the remains of Dawn and Jamie. I had never seen anything like this before. I'm a mom, but I'm also a web developer. You see, I wanted to change my life, so I went to lynda.com and learned spreadsheets, business software, and photography. I went from being nervous to being confident. Because I could learn at my own speed. I learned I could be anything. Anything I want to be. At lynda.com, you can learn whenever and wherever you want, from easy to follow videos taught by experts, so you can be anything you want in life. Come to lynda.com and see what you can learn.